New Mexico is known for many things, from our vast and diverse landscape to our rich history. However, not everyone knows of the unique prehistoric life that is found across the state. Most New Mexicans know that the Rub Runner is a state bird, and the yucca is a state plant. But did you know that New Mexico has its very own state dinosaur? If you didn't know, now you do. Meet Coelophysis, the official dinosaur of New Mexico. The first Coelophysis fossils were found in 1889 in north central New Mexico, near the area known as the Chinle Formation, by paleontologist David Baldwin. Once the fossils were identified, another paleontologist, Edward Drinker, gave Coelophysis his name. Initially, two partial sets of Coelophysis fossils were found in the Chinle area. The fossils that Baldwin found were in very poor condition, as the environment had taken a toll on the bones. Years later, in 1974, a larger area of fossils was discovered, a bone bed, in the same general area. The name Coelophysis means hollow form, coming from the Greek words kroilos, meaning hollow, and physis, meaning form. The name was given in reference to the dinosaur's hollow vertebrae. While Ghost Ranch is a 21,000 acre retreat and education center consisting of canyons, it is also known for these incredible fossil findings. The bone bed that Whitaker identified included more than a thousand coelophysis fossils. This completely changed the earlier perspective of this dinosaur. More information allowed the paleontologists to consider assigning the dinosaur a new name based on the location of the fossil bed. The new name was proposed Rio Arribasaurus, as the location was in Rio Arriba County, but many disagreed with the new name. It was ultimately decided that the name Coelophysis would remain. New Mexico is presently known for its dry desert conditions, but during the Triassic period when Coelophysis lived here, New Mexico was much closer to the equator and to the ocean due to the combined land masses of that period. This created a tropical climate that experienced both wet and dry seasons, where flooding was commonplace. The seasonal flooding is what paleontologists believe created the bone beds at Ghost Ranch. Animals, surprised by sudden flooding, would be swept away and then buried by the silt very quickly. When the animals were buried, the normal decomposition process did not happen out in the open, and thus, the scavengers of the period did not have access to them. If that type of sudden burial prevented the bodies from being picked at or scattered, it would explain why so many incredibly complete fossils were found in one area. Coelophysis fossils have been found in many places across North America and Africa. Coelophysis was one of the first dinosaurs appearing in the early Triassic and was seemingly more advanced than some other dinosaur species. With a small slender bill, Coelophysis grew up to 9.8 feet long and stood about 4 feet tall. It was equipped with four digits on the end of each forelimb, but it is believed that only three of them functioned. Coelophysis would have been a very fast and agile animal, being able to travel 25 to 30 miles per hour, even though the length of its stride was only about two and a half feet. It had a narrow head and sharp, jagged teeth. It had very large eyes and keen visual perception, believed to be much like that of hawks and eagles, which were perfect for hunting small, fast-moving prey. This dinosaur would have grown rapidly during its first years of their life, reaching maturity around one or two years old, with males having a larger and more muscular build while females were physically more slender. It might have had a coat of feathers, but without more scientific evidence, that detail is still up for debate. The behavior of the coelophysis is also a debated topic. They were believed to have hunted in packs, but there is very little evidence of pack behavior and hunting, with only the fossil record to indicate that. Scientists agree that the animals very likely moved together, and with so many complete fossils located together, they probably gathered to eat or drink in groups during the drier seasons. Coelophysis became New Mexico's state dinosaur in 1981, and is displayed as part of the logo of the New Mexico Museum of Natural History. It is the second dinosaur to travel into space with fossils hitching a ride on the space shuttle Endeavour. New Mexico sports an impressive fossil record of early 
plants and animals, and even early man. Coelophysis provided a large bed of evidence and piqued the interest of the paleontologists who discovered the evidence near Ghost Ranch. While Coelophysis may not be as well known as other dinos, like the Tyrannosaurus rex or the Triceratops, this smaller cousin was still undoubtedly an impressive and capable animal in his day. And for those of us living in this amazing area of the Southwest, we celebrate Coelophysis as New Mexico's very own dinosaur.